better call Lance. Uh, Jeremy Kellerman, you know, from uh, the Jeremy Kellerman Advice Hour? Yeah, um, I, I, I just wanted to call, uh, I, I think you left me a message earlier, and uh, I wanted to get back to you, and I, I was wanting to talk to you anyway, um, I, I think you were wanting to talk about new ideas uh, for the, the Advice Hour for next year? Yeah, I, yeah, I'm really excited, I got a lot of ideas uh, set up here, um, here, let me... Let me let me take a look here. Hold on a second, buddy. Um. Okay. That's not it. Um. Anyway, I'm sorry it took me so long to call you back. You know, Scott was having another one of his episodes today, and well, you know, they're they're not they're not like episodes of the Jeremy Kellerman Advice Hour. I can tell you that there's at least twenty percent more diarrhea and vomiting. <laughs> You know how it is, you know, kids. Um, anyway, um, so uh, I, I've been brainstorming ideas. You know, I'm thinking about the year ahead, 1997. I'm thinking we're, we're going to get into some real, uh, you know, cool new territory next year. You know, it's the 90s. It's a radical new time. You know, it's all about kids have the power and, and the youth. And wearing our, our baseball caps backwards, and we're wearing like the neon collars, and you know, I just it's it's a great time to be alive. And I think the Jeremy Kellerman Advice Hour is going to be keeping up with the times like it always does. So uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I've, I've had some ideas. Uh, one of them, I was thinking maybe like we could do uh, a contest, like a, maybe a, a, a contest per episode, and uh, I don't know. Um, Maybe a lottery. I don't know what the, the, the legal rules on that are. You can figure that out, I guess. Um, but maybe some kind of contest. And uh, I could, uh, like, maybe as a prize, give away some of my hair. Um, I know I get, like, I, whenever I get fan mail, somebody almost always mentions wanting to have a little bit of my hair. So, you know... It's a, it's a renewable resource, so I'm willing to part with it if it makes people happy. Um, I think it may be like a fashion segment. Um, I don't know, maybe like uh, Hawaiian shirts, you know, just to mix my look up a little. I, of course, I do have my famous sweaters, so, you know, I could do a, a ton of, of sweater stuff. Um, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe we could work out a brand deal, you know? Maybe, maybe a company would pay somebody who who does videos like I do to promote their products like product placement you know like to influence people to buy them uh, to buy those products and you know I get something free and people would get sweaters I, I don't know I'm just that maybe, maybe not maybe that's a little crazy I don't know but you know I like to think outside the box I like to to, to think ahead um, what else um, Oh, well, uh, I, I do have some ideas written down right here, actually, that I wanted to go over. Um, let's see. Um, I was thinking maybe we could book some celebrities. Uh, maybe Vincent Price or Bob Ross. Uh, maybe Shea St. John. Um, you know, any of those would be great. You know, it'd be great to raise the profile of the show a little bit. You know, get some more eyes on, on the Advice Hour. Um, you know, I'm... Andy Kaufman's a really nice guy. Uh, ever since he moved in, uh, you know, th the neighborhood has just been a, a never-ending party. So, uh, sure, he would do it if we if we asked nicely. Um, you know, he was on Taxi. That's it's a big show. So uh, may, maybe maybe we get him. I don't know. Um, I really I want to talk to you about reviving the Kellerman Kids Club. Um, I don't know why you didn't like that name. I don't I don't understand. Uh, What's uh, what was wrong with it, Lance? I don't know what you mean. I don't understand. I, I don't know anything else that 
that that sounds like so i i'm sorry buddy i don't know what you mean but if it, if it bothers you that much we can call it something else like um i don't know maybe like uh i don't know the the, the the pit of kids you know kids love ball pits you like what's 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 more american than kids jumping around in a pit that sounds fine i don't know um we'll figure something out you know don't worry about it. you you stress too much about the stuff i know it's your job but you know you stress too much but i i do want you know i appreciate you being with me all these years you, you know you've kept the advice how we're going and I just really appreciate your help. You you are a big part of, of what make this what makes this show tick. It's it's really important to me. So so thank you, Lance. Um, sure, yeah. I I mean I don't know what you mean there, but yeah, I sure I I I feel very similarly. Yes. So, um, you know, I was thinking maybe we could do, like, uh, like a telethon. Uh, maybe we could get the Gups Foundation involved. Uh, you know how, how it goes with uh, people, you know, from the peninsula. You know how uh, the, the whole thing, how that whole situation goes, you know. So we got to support those people. I think that would be a really nice idea. Um, you know, I was thinking maybe, like, I, I would like to try to dispel the idea that creativity only belongs in the arts. You know, the sciences, even the medical sciences, benefit a lot from people being creative. So I was thinking maybe on the air I could bring back some of that sense of individual initiative by invi inventing a new type of CPR defibrillization right on the air. I think that would be really interesting. No, no, I think it would be great. I, I, I think it would be wonderful. I think people would really respond to that. Um, I also want to mention, I, this is a big one for me, I think Scott needs a project. I think, you know, I want to get Scott into the family business. I think we should give Scott his own segment. Um, I don't know, maybe call it like Scott's Thoughts or something. Um, you know, just let him talk about what matters to him. Uh, I, you know, g give him an outlet for creativity. I think that would really help Scott a lot. We should, no, no, that's what I'm saying. I think, like, it would help him get over a lot of those butterflies in his stomach if he, he could, you know, have have a creative outlet. I mean, I don't know. I, I always feel that um, having, having a, a platform and an audience, that's really the best way to get over those creative blocks. You know, get out there on the stage and, you know, leave it all hanging and out and, and whatnot. I think it would really help him. Um, I was thinking maybe um, doing like a special on the mysteries of the Michigan Triangle. Um, you know how that goes. Um, I think that could be really interesting. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure there's some some interesting stories about that. Um, spotlight on Ishpeming. I mean, why not? I mean, there's so much there that nobody ever talks about. Uh, let me see here. Oh, I was thinking maybe some like non-traditional funeral approaches, like with rap music. Or bagpipes, uh, even if you're not Scottish, maybe both. You know, people always uh, are looking for new ways to make funerals more interesting. So, of course, you know, I had to go there. Um, yeah, Dave wants to guest host. I, th that was that was one I wanted to talk to you about. You you mentioned that in the in the uh, in the message you left me on the answering machine. Um, I, I wrote a note about this. I I'm, I'm confused. It, I mean, sure. If if he wants to uh, try an episode or two when I'm I'm out and about, I, I am taking Scott to a movie. Uh, the Dollar Theater is uh, wreath showing the Jetsons movie um, tomorrow, actually. So if if Dave wants to step in, that I don't see any problem with it. It's you know, give him a little you know, you know baby step into the world of taking the reins. Sure, yeah. Um, I was thinking maybe Vicky could uh, do uh, like a special segment on her techniques as a reporter. You know, she's got that whole water scandal thing going on, so that could be really interesting. Um, uh, maybe maybe I could do some tips for summer vacations while you're under house arrest. I mean, I have had a few family members that have been in that situation, so I, I feel like I've absorbed some some wisdom in that regard that might help some of our viewers. Um, I don't know, I, I think I had some other ideas. Uh, let me see here. Um, oh, I was thinking maybe I could do an episode in the Ishpeming Women's Prison. Um, 
Uh, I could interview Dan Glub about, about you know, the, the difficulties women face breaking into the business world, you know, talk about how the gals can break the glass ceiling and, you know, what kind of particular rocks you should use to break the glass ceiling and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I, you know, I still want to do the bowling video. I know I made uh, a certain someone a little bit angry the last time we tried to film a bowling video, and I, I have apologized. I, I, that was a mistake. That was an error in judgment on my part. I won't discuss it again. I won't mention it on the air, Lance, but I still think we should try another attempt at that. I think we, we owe it to ourselves and to our viewers to do a round two, and, you know, this time we'll just call the ambulance in advance. Um, I'd like to interview Grandma, um, you know, Grandma Betsy, uh, she, she is, she is an accomplished lady, um, no, Lance, I, I really think you should give it a chance, I think, I think she'll, she'll impress you. Well, you know, don't knock it until you've seen it. Um, I could interview the lady with the horn. Well, I know she's not always in the best of spirits, but... I'm sure she has an interesting perspective on life. And um, I was thinking maybe I could do like a potty training refresher course uh, for adults. Well, why not? Oh, I need to call Lance back. Yeah, Lance? Hi, it's Jeremy. Uh, Jeremy Kellerman from the Jeremy Kellerman Advice Hour? Yeah, I was just calling you back. I'm sorry I didn't call earlier. I was taking Scott to the new superhero movie. Uh, you know how he loves to watch those and, and then gets mad about them. Um, I just got him calmed down, but uh, I want to see you know what's up. What? But it, it just seems like just yesterday that he took that job. No way! I, well, what does this mean? I mean, I had big plans for the the online version of the Jeremy Kellerman Advice Hour. I was I was going to ask you about maybe bringing back the Kellerman Kids Club. You know, I I know you never liked that name, but I was always really taken with it. I I never really understood why you had such a big problem with it, but I thought we could relaunch that, but. Lance, this is huge! I'm, I'm back on the actual terrestrial station? The real over-the-air WXVH? After all this time, I... I mean, I don't, I don't even know... Where, where are we filming it? Oh, you have to be kidding! The, oh, my word! I mean, yes, yes, of course I'll do it! I, no, no, I am ready. There, there is no problem. I, Lance, I have been doing this on the internet for like 10 something years now. I, I, I am ready. No, it is absolutely.
absolutely what Victoria would want me to do. It was a very difficult time. You're, you're not wrong, but I, I have never been more ready to get back on the television. It is time for the Jeremy Carvin Advice Hour to live again. Oh, wow. I gotta tell Scott. Uh, oh, man. Lance, I could kiss you. I don't know what that means. But thank you so much. You've, you've been so good to me for all these years. Oh, I'm, I'm freaking out. I, what was that? What is happening, Lance? You're, you're really talking kind of fast there. I'm not used to you. What? Sure, Lance, I'm sitting down. I, uh, hang on. Uh, Lance, hang on. I, I, there's somebody at the door. Thank you. 
I feel like I'm about to have the worst diarrhea of my entire life. 